What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. Let's talk about AMC today because AMC, um, you know, hasn't really done a, a crazy amount today. We understand it's up, you know, 7%, getting close to closing above $14. So I would love for it to close above $14, no matter where it ends up getting to in the after hours market. I would love for it to close um, above $14. Just know that we are due for one of those after hours markets that really skyrockets. So just be aware that this could be a possibility that we might see this. But right now it's up 7%, up um, almost 8%, up to 14. And we're, like I said, we're looking for that to close above it. Um, it opened up at $13.66, had a high of $14.38, a low of $13.39. Um, had a volume, uh, which I want to get into later, of 141 million shares worth of volume. The average volume is 91 million. Now, um, the the movement today let's look at some of the movement before we get into some other detail we can see that in the beginning of the day we had a large increase to where it did fall back down we understood that this was being overbought at the time it was being heavily overbought so it did decrease you know got back to um what was it about 50 uh 52 on the rsi started to increase a little bit leveled out um and then increased even more up to 14 dollars and 38 cents to where it fell off um you know, a lot of shorts must have went through. Um, we did see a lot of walls that were built today. So it was strategically placed walls, probably by algorithms like they normally do with their black boxes. Um, and, you know, decrease this price quite a bit to where you did see it slowly recover, uh, slowly get back to a point to where people are buying, they're covering shorts, they're probably going to end up shorting some more. So all of this, you know, we have people buying, but we have more covering shorts. But then what they're going to do is after they cover it, they're just going to partner it with with more shorts um, and basically double down and triple down. And um, uh, we could see that this growth every time we had that growth they just you know pushed us back they pulled us back they grabbed us by our ankles brought us back deeper into the pit and then eventually you're going to see this explode so um we've seen it time and time again to where it got to high points and then started to fall off got shorted uh, to kingdom come leveled out saw the strength that we did see here fell down again um, all the way down to $13.59 to where we've seen more strength up to the $14.04 um, and then fell back down. So we're seeing a lot of movement here. Um, if I was looking at this as a regular stock, I would say this is a day tradable stock. Hands down, you can day trade this five times in one day and make $1,000 each time if you wanted to. But this is not what you wanted to do with this position because it, it can explode at any moment. One of these these upward um, you know, movements could be an absolute explosion. You know what I mean? So you don't want to miss out on that opportunity. If you end up doing that, that's why I haven't been doing it. And I won't do that with GME. I won't do it with this um, because it is going to explode one of these days and we're not going to really see it coming. It's just going to come out of nowhere. People can say they predict it, but you don't predict it. The only thing you can predict is that anytime this does get to a high point, they are going to bring this down. Not people that are selling, it's short selling. That That's what's going on. So let's look at some of the uh, Fintel numbers uh, really quick. We understand that uh, we understand that they are shorting the position, right? And that's what I wanted to just point out. Every single day that we see these high volume numbers, you can see 63.5 million shares of volume was shorted um, on Friday. And it's probably gonna be the same way today. Um, it's looking like it's 30% pretty much every day that we're um, seeing it being shorted. We have 1.4 million short shares available. The short borrow fee rate is 24%. I would imagine that Ortex probably has some higher data there. But you can see um, on the 14th, 30%, 27%, 10%, 20%. So any of these high days that we have seen in volume, 296 million shares worth of volume, 81.5 million short shares. Why do you need to short when you have this high of volume? Typically on these these um, increased days, unless someone truly believes that it's not worth that amount, they end up shorting it. And who doesn't really believe that this is worth that amount? The hedge funds. They just want to short this as much as possible. And they suck. They absolutely suck. So you're seeing that um, 81.5, 63.5. You're probably going to see something high again today because we're around 190 million ver worth of volume. So I was talking to Erica about this. I was talking to my wife about this, talking to her about AMC. She doesn't really understand stocks too much, but she did 
um, you know, see the big short movie and understood that they were piling on dog crap um, and, you know, basically building it into, um, you know, prettier dog crap. So it was, they were just stacking on all of this dog crap together. And then eventually it just exploded from the, the bottom. Everything fell off. Um, you've seen a lot of people make a, a good amount of money. And um, if you didn't see that movie, if you didn't see the big short movie or read the book, then definitely go ahead and do that. Cause it's a great, a great movie, but this is the big short um, part two. Um, or probably even bigger than that, because we're seeing some some major movement by them, by the hedge funds, for no apparent reason, just really to make sure that they're right. They need to give up. They truly do need to give up. And I I compare this to that movie. I compare it to that situation. You know, every single chance they get, anytime we get up to that fourteen dollar level, the fourteen, you know, twenty, fourteen thirty, they're looking to pull us back down as much as they could possibly do it to weed out some of the people that are holding and this is just going to make people want to buy more i mean it you see all of the strength you see all of the the buying strength that we're we're displaying here as soon as it hits certain levels it's boom you see it increase because you know we have a lot of the buying strength you know that they have to cover their shorts and we're going to be able to partner that with the fact that we're all holding and they're you know covering so it's going to be like double the impact you know what i mean so ultimately, uh, my mind, you know, is made up is that, you know, I'm holding majority of my shares. I do have a plan on what I uh, plan to do with this, which I don't want to release to everybody, because if I do, then, you know, you have people that, you know, follow your plan when you should build your own situation, build your own strategy. I can give you price targets um, of, you know, where things are, where things are going to pull back, where we're going to see circuit breakers actually are, um, which somebody brought up in the stream, which was a great point. But Right now, we can see all of the manipulation that's taking place, all of it. Every time it gets to a certain point, it's like, boom, we see the strength. We see the buying strength. Look at these these huge green candlesticks. And what they're doing is they're partnering them up with red, red candlesticks. You know, a lot of selling pressure, which is not selling pressure. It's short selling pressure. We can see it. We see all of the data. 30% short, 36% short, 66% short. Um, I wouldn't say AMC was 66% short. Sorry, I got two things mixed up. That was um. But you're seeing a, a large amount of uh, shorted shares, and it's ridiculous to you know think that we don't notice it. You know, we're seeing what is it? 100? I said 190, but it's 140 um, million shares worth of volume, and you're probably shorting you know somewhere close to 30% or 33% of it. You know what I mean? A third. It's absolutely ridiculous. So let me know your opinion on this, guys. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you get your free stocks with Weeble down below. Don't forget to check out some of the links in the description. If you guys want to join as a channel member, definitely hit that channel member button and hit the uh, you know Discord group button if you want to. I think it's a link. If you want to hit that link, definitely do that. It does help out. Um, there's three levels. There's um, an expert profit hands, profit hands, and then there's just a Discord level if you guys want to join the Discord group or get some extra videos as well. So um, yeah, make sure you guys hit that like button. Do everything to support my channel. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video.